One, two, one, two, three, four. Those vegan guys. I thank you. Hello, I'm Jason. I'm Paul. And we are those vegan guys. guys. Um, you're back in our kitchen. Welcome. Do excuse me. Jason's dressed quite uh, smart, casual, nice jeans and t-shirt. I'm wearing my scrags. And uh, for those of you that don't know what scrags are, it's these. Anything that you want to wear around the house and you're really comfortable in. That's what your scrags are. So today we're going to do... Uh, spaghetti and meatballs. And uh, what we're going to do first, you know we've talked about doing these 15 minute meals and trying to get them in for under a fiver for a family of four. Um, well we're going to do it right now. Veganised spaghetti and meatballs. Uh, shop specific but everybody can get to a Sainsbury's. Yeah. Um, and uh, so first of all, Jason is going to show you the ingredients and tell you how much they are and the total price. And we're going to do that over here. Okay, so we've got ingredients separated off into two sections. We've got the uh, store cupboard ingredients, um, which is the olive oil, the olives, the peas, the garlic, and the... Um, Tomato puree. Tomato puree, thank you. Um, so as Paul's mentioned uh, to me before, <laughs> <laughs> the um, olives and the peas are optional. Um, I think they're better with them in, without a doubt. Um, Paul said the garlic's optional. I disagree. I think um, garlic's essential. Um, it is spaghetti and meatballs after all. So that's the store cupboard stuff that you should generally have around the house anyway. Um, and then we've also got the stuff that we've actually bought in. Uh, so we've got the Italian passata, which was 70 pence. We have the Italian chopped tomatoes, which was 45 pence. We have the actual vegetarian and vegan meatballs from Sainsbury's, um, which were £1.50 for right. 20, wow. which is pretty awesome. Uh, and then of course we've got the whole wheat spaghetti, which was 85 pence. Uh, so that is pretty much everything the whole lot that you need to make the spaghetti and meatballs. Paul will be making the spaghetti and meatballs, I'll just point that out. So Jason, do tell me, if I'd gone to Sainsbury's and bought just the specific ingredients, because of course I would have all the store covered ingredients, how much would this meal for a family of four cost me in, to it, in it total? It would cost you a mere three fiddy. Three fiddy? Three fiddy. Wow. So there you go. Right, Jason's already taken you through the uh, ingredients. Now, this uh, you would have to double up on what I'm about to do to make this for a family of four. Because um, I'm not going to be wasteful, as Fran's mum says in uh, American Dad. Uh, so, this bag of 20 meatballs, I'm only going to use 10 of them um, for me and Jason. And we're going to have five each. If you're a family of four and you've got two kids, Maybe, you know, it would be adults six, uh, kids four each, because they're quite filling, especially with, with the spaghetti. So, in your frying pan or wok, uh, whichever you use, you favour, put a little bit of, I always use extra virgin olive oil now. This is a bad tip, ignore Paul on this tip, because you're not supposed to use extra virgin olive oil necessarily for frying. It's just that I read years ago that it was better for you and started using it, which me and Jason have kind of stuck with it. Have we not, Jason? We have. So, I like it. It's never going, bothered me. I'm going to put 10 meatballs. Eight, nine, ten in the pan. Now at the same time, I'm looking this pan. The bits of garlic that wouldn't go through the grinder are in the pan along with some wheel. And I'm going to Fill that with boiling water. And get my spaghetti on at the same time. Now, for me and Jason, half a pack of this is ample. Wouldn't you say, Jay? Yeah. That's what Definitely. I would, I would normally do. So I'm going to do half. Just going to swirl your balls around a little bit, okay? And get that. It's helping you use the right one. 
get that uh, boiling and bubbling away. All I'm doing with these heat balls, basically, is just trying to get them a little brown um, around the outside so that they don't turn to mush in this off, which, I mean, they wouldn't do anyway. It's just that me and Jason like them with a, a bit of a crispy edge. See how that, look at this one, Jason. Look at that one and how brown it's gone there. So it's getting like a, a crispy. Mm. And, Whoa! Yeah, do be careful of the spitting. And that's why you shouldn't use this oil. Maybe that's what it is. Four pieces of garlic. Again, that's a store cupboard ingredient, already crushed. Come here, you know, fresh on right now, jello without the bulb. I know. Sorry about that. You should be. tend to do <laughs> random voices and characters now and again. As many people who know me will tell you. Right, now I don't want that garlic to burn. The meatballs are already browned a little bit. So, my chopped tomatoes, which are usually dead easy because it's got a perforated top, so you just kind of fold along, rip it off, and these are with uh, onions and garlic already. And they put a fair amount in, to be honest with you. Get them in there. And now we can turn down a little bit on the heat. Some of that garlic did burn after all. Luckily, we like the taste of burnt garlic. Some folk might not know, Jason. I'm going to whack these back in the freezer the next time we actually get any meatballs. Hey! Right, now I'm going to open the uh, Italian passata. Same jobby as before, perforated tops. Brilliant. Oh, and all these items, by the way, are of course uh, marked vegan. All of them. Uh, that's the great thing about Sainsbury's, they're labelled really, really well. And if you are on a vegan journey or planning to just eat uh, uh, you know, a bit more vegan, I do have to say that uh, my supermarkets in order of good for vegans would be a card with you go on online. Because everything that you can pretty much get from anywhere else, you can get at a card or other, a little bit more pricey. Sainsbury's is brilliant for labelling. I haven't even used all the starter. Um, so next time uh, on one of our future videos, what I'm going to do a um, shepherd's pie using mints, and I'll probably use that bit of starter then. Can I just interject and say that when we do more of these videos, that if you're going to talk for this amount of time, yeah. we're going to have to do something about my arms. Uh, because I've now been holding my arms in position for over five minutes. Right, a quick squirt of... This is... Can you see? Mm-hmm. With garlic in it already. And that just adds a nice richness. And straight away now, I'm going to throw these in, which are our olives and peas. And I'm going to turn that down a little bit. And I'm just going to leave that now to all cook through. And the spaghetti to cook through. And we'll be back with you in a few minutes when it's done and plated up. Because you know how to drain spaghetti. I don't need to show you that. Uh, so we'll show you the finished product of spaghetti and meatballs for a family of four, a la vegan, three pound fitty. Three fitty! <laughs> we just wanted to show you the finished plated up uh, product. So don't forget, this is just for two people. Here's my hand for scale. <laughs> uh, this is for two people. Um, and I've used all the sauce that, that I, I used. But if you used the rest of the passata, in with that sauce it would stretch to four people especially if you use the, the rest of the meatballs and everything uh, so that's the finished meal that we are about to devour three pound fifty for a family of four less than 15 minutes to make 
and uh, uh, what was the other point? Oh yeah, vegan, of course. Okay, so you've seen the finished product. And we're about to sit down and eat it and we're pretty much starving. But coming up in this series, we've got uh, shepherd's pie, we've got cheese and onion pasties, uh, we've got a Greek feast, uh, which is a bit of a cheap meal because it's just buying a load of things and putting them on a plate, but it's a meal for four people. Uh, we've got loads of stuff coming up. Um, so this is the first one for January. You're looking forward to them, aren't you? I'm really looking forward to them, yeah, because um, I don't really do a lot in the kitchen, if I'm perfectly honest, so it's a little bit of a chance for me to learn a little bit on the job. He can do stuff in the kitchen, it's just I'm very territorial. Cooker, washing machine. Uh, Dutch, Dawn. <laughs> so we're going to have our tea now. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Please share this around and inspire people to get to Sainsbury's, get some of this vegan stuff and make a great, nutritious meal for a family of four people for less than a fiver. And it's vegan. Serving the planet. Kiss me.